The time now, nine minutes to seven. Now, earlier we asked you if you knew what these three celebrities, Lord Archer, Jonathan Ross and Kevin Bacon, all had in common. Well, our very own Richard Gaffersford has the answer. Very good morning to you, sir. Good morning, John. Well, they've all been to visit this gentleman here, Esmond Gay, not just because you're a nice chap, Esmond, is it, but because you breed Bengal cats. And, and, and celebrities are just queuing up at the door by the sounds of things to get hold of one of your Bengals. They love anything that's, um, that's different, I think anyone does. And having a, being able to have a pedigree cat that looks like a little leopard, has got wild blood, has the, has the close ancestor of a leopard, I think there's a lot of, att of attraction there for people who have always loved wild cats. OK, we're not just only going to talk about them, though, are we? We're going to show a very special new addition to your family. Let's have a look at Zeus here. Now, we're being pretty careful with Zeus this morning because he's a little jumpy with all the camera equipment. But here he is with Sarah. And, and tell us about Zeus. This is the famous £100,000 cat, is that right? He certainly is. And uh, personally, I think he's a bargain at the price. Um, we're, not, we're not overly bothered whether or not we do sell him. Um, he's the, the culmination of, of 10 years of hard work. And um, he's a 90% wild blood uh, F1 Bengal, which means his father is an Asian leopard cat. But on his, uh, what makes him unique is on his mother's side, there's a very, very, very high percentage of wild so blood. Should he not be in a zoo then, instead of sitting on the sofa next to us? He's, he's not a purebred animal. He's not a purebred Asian leopard cat, so he doesn't fit into to what the zoos would, would exhibit. But does that not make him wild? I mean, I mean looking at him here, he looks absolutely wonderful. Amazing he, he looks, markings. He looks wild, but it's, uh, he was hand-reared from, uh, from literally two days old. Um, and as you can see, I even though he's five months old, he's completely adorable. He, won't hurt, he wouldn't hurt a fly. Um, he's as gentle as a lamb. But it, how it, can you be sure of that, though? Because he has all of this wild cat in him. But, uh, mainly because of the way we've, we've, we've bred him. We've been very, very careful um, to, to handle him as much as we possibly can. Uh, my three-year-old daughter, it's ba he, he's basically her pet, and uh, she carries him around. She, she plays with him all the time. And it's that sort of human contact that's made uh, his personality quite unique in the fact that you're right he has got an enormous percentage of wild blood yet he is so calm and so gentle around people now are you going to find someone who wants to to spend a hundred thousand pounds on on this wonderful cat it's a lot of money isn't it you could buy a house for that you can we already found um two people or they found us and uh, neither of them fitted the bill we want if he's going to go anywhere, he's going to go to a, an absolutely perfect home. It's got to be someone, the someone who's always wanted a, a, a leopard but doesn't want to keep it outside, wants it in the okay. house as a pet, and we'll respect him for well, what he is. He might fit the bill. John, if you have £100,000, it's absolutely beautiful, and he likes to, a bit of rough play as well by the looks <laughs> of it. <laughs> Well, sadly, I'm a very tempting, gorgeous-looking creature, wasn't he? Lovely, lovely, Fabulous. and the kitten was lovely as well. Indeed, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Richard, Richard actually staying stunned though, I notice. Now that is all from.